Hi, I'm Ken Lee. I'm with uh, Anovacorp. We're here today talking to you about fundamentals of a great pitch. So we've talked about uh, storyboards, you know, leading up, getting prepared for the pitch. Now we're going to talk about uh, the presentation outline. So using all of that front end stuff, all your homework, you're now going to put pen to paper, so to speak, and actually start uh, uh, producing the slides that will make up your, your uh, PowerPoint. Assuming you're using PowerPoint, you don't have to, but uh, that's typically the, uh, the tool that, that is used. So uh, typically in a presentation outline, uh, there are 10. There might, be, there might be 11 slides, but typically there are 10. It starts with uh, the title, which is uh, the intro uh, uh, of what your company is about and what you want to do with your company and why they should be interested in you. Uh, then you talk about the problem. Uh, then you lead into uh, what the solution is to that problem, which is your opportunity, right? That's why you're in business, to provide a solution. That's how you're going to make money. Some people are going to buy uh, your product because you're solving a problem for them. Um, then you're going to tell them uh, what your business model is, like how, like how much you're going to sell it for, who you're going to sell it to, uh, how you're going to sell it, that kind of thing. Uh, then you're going to talk about underlying magic, which is a, a, a term coined from Guy Kawasaki. It's not our term, uh, but it's one that uh, kind of says it all, right? What's your secret sauce? What's the thing that's going to define and separate you from the rest and also prevent competitors from coming to eat your lunch? Uh, then you're going to talk about how you're going to market and sell your product. We're here to make the money and sell this stuff, right? So you need to be able to, 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 to share with the audience, with the investor, how you're going to do that. Then you need to talk about competition. And that's an important part that you need to really do some homework on. Uh, so that's why it, it's, it has its own, own slide on there. Very important thing. Management team, also very important. Uh, uh, investors who are looking at your opportunity, well, they may buy into all the problem, the solution, your technology, but if they're not comfortable with the people, that's who they're investing in, in, right? So if the people aren't right, they don't feel comfortable that you can deliver, then all of the other stuff is not going to matter as much. Uh, then you're going to talk about financial projections or financial results. So uh, you're going to invest my company. Here's what here's what we're going to return to you, here are the revenues, here's how much it's going to cost, and here's the profits. Uh, then you're going to talk about uh, current status. So this is where I am with my concept, my idea, my product. Um, you're going to tell them what you've done, what has gone into it, uh, if it's patented, you know, all those things, various milestones. You're going to talk about key milestones that you have achieved, and you're going to talk about key milestones that you are going to uh, achieve in the, near, in the near term, or as much as it fits with the uh, use of funds that you're asking for. Uh, and in this one, which leads to use of funds, you kind of want to close with uh, how much you're asking for, if you're asking for something, um, which you should be, unless it's an introductory meeting, then that's different. So gauge that accordingly. Uh, but if it is asking for funds, here's how much I'm going to ask for, and here's what I'm going to deliver to you. You always want to keep it tangible, okay? so. Uh, this is kind of just a, uh, you don't have to follow this, it, it, it all depends on the situation, but this is the type of flow that typically works the best. So if you're using a PowerPoint to deliver your presentation, uh, you want to use simple white or light background. Uh, you don't want wild colors in the back because it's kind of hard on the audience's eye and it's distracting when you're trying to deliver the message and the knockout punch, and they're worried about, you know, geez, that, that font is kind of weird, or that background, I can't see the font, right? So keep it simple. Uh, you want to add your logo and brand to every slide. Uh, the reason for that is that every slide has a story of, of its own, and typically, you know, you're, you're pitching, so um, it's going to be a good story. So you want to associate that with whatever your, your brand is. Uh, you want to use easy fonts. Again, make it easy for the audience to read uh, what, you're, what you're delivering. Uh, you don't want to use kind of uh, gothic things or kind of wild stuff because it's just, it's just wild. Again, specific to the industry, you might be a graphic design where that's appropriate. So just gauge it accordingly. But to, to a typical business type of pitch, you want to keep everything simple and easy to read. Uh, don't use animations like spinning globes or uh, 
popping sound effects. Again, unless you're in the, in the animation business and you're pitching, then that's totally appropriate. But if it's a, if it's a pure business type of uh, pitch, you want to stay away from uh, all of the, that fancy, uh, fancy special effects stuff. Uh, building slides means, uh, as I'm doing now, I'm doing one, one point each. You want to keep that to a minimum. Uh, you don't want every slide to be to be doing that. So you want to you just want to build it as necessary. So typically you want to uh, have uh, less distractions as, as possible. Uh, a lot of th slides. I don't know if you've seen people that build slides and they have all these different sub sub bullets underneath, and it looks like it's uh, you know the result of an OK Corral shootout or something. You want to limit uh, uh, bullets as much as possible. You want to just keep everything simple. So if you are using bullets, which I suggest that you use, uh, just have the bullets, uh, you know, even partial sentences, um, and don't read it. It's just really there to prompt you and also to prompt the audience about what you're talking about at that particular time. Um, if you have diagrams or graphs, you know, uh, pictures tell a thousand words, especially if you're going, going into uh, new technologies or you're going to be talking about something complex, uh, you know, some engineering uh, things that are part of your business. You want to use diagrams and graphs as much as possible to get the message across. Uh, so for takeaways, you know, you want to make sure that your presentation is going to be uh, uh, presentable as a handout thing. So for that reason, other, uh, you know, uh, similar to the first one, using a light background, it, it serves a, a second purpose is that when you print them out, you can actually read the, the document uh, when your investor takes it back and, and does whatever they do with it. And have backup content. So we talked about laying out the, the different uh, slides. There were 10, could be 11. Uh, those are kind of the main bodies, but you should also have backup content. Think of it as sort of the appendixes to, the, to a document. Uh, they may or may not uh, uh, be required, but if a question is answered and you have a backup slide, it says, uh, uh, it says tons about how prepared you are and being able to keep the flow of the inf information going. And uh, part of the, uh, I guess, when you're starting the, uh, the, uh, the, the title slide, uh, when you're starting your presentation, your first title, your first slide is going to be the title slide. In there, you talk about your organization, of course, you know, uh, who you are, maybe a date, uh, maybe the significant event that is, you know, you're there for. Um, that kind of is what's on the text part of it. And then you get into the verbal stuff, uh, which is what you do. So you want to be able to tell them what you do. If it's software, then, hey, we do software that uh, manages uh, logistics, as an example. Uh, you want to talk about uh, what your unique competitive advantage is. Uh, you want to talk about how big the market is and how it's growing and how you're going to capture that and how much money you're using. So all that within the first uh, one minute of that title slide uh, sets the stage for the rest of it. 